Now, uh, Denny's wife, Jen, has a column out here today. If you've gone to the KVJ Show Facebook page, you probably know what it is. If you're watching KVJ TV, I can show you right there. She found a screw <gasps> in her salad. Oh, in a salad. Hell yeah. Order that. Ordered food locally. Isn't that crazy? Now, did she just see it laying in the salad, or did she actually bite down on it? She didn't bite down on it, thankfully, because I think that thing would take a tooth out, but it had fallen off her fork, and it made a loud plink. Oh, my That was the only gosh. reason we saw it. Did you guys call the restaurant and tell them? We did. We reported it. And what'd they say? They just said thank you and then hung up. It's so Tough amazing. Boobies. Yeah. Go, go screw yourself. Yeah, they, they didn't want to refund or anything. They really? Just, no, they it, just they said we just said all right. In that case, just warning. It's just a warning to let other people know that there might be something else in it's there. It's unbelievable. We posted up on our Facebook page. What is the craziest thing you found in your food? And there were so many stories that people find the craziest things. And the responses from almost every restaurant wasn't like, oh my gosh, you have a free meal or have this or gift certificates or whatever. It's like. Cool, thanks, or all right, whatever. Yeah, they said thanks and, for reporting. See, I think what happens is so many randos put a screw in their own salad. Mm, you're right. Because, you know, probably at one point the restaurants would have given you a free meal, but then so many people kept getting salad screws mm -hmm. that they had to stop doing that. The problem is that screws really do fall in salads or, or, or your food, but they're, it's the easiest thing to do. My mom and Aunt Anne got blamed for this back in the day. They went to a Chinese restaurant, and they had baby roaches in their food. They didn't yeah, bring the baby right. roaches there, mm. but the restaurant doubled. That is so much worse that than a screw. They doubled worse. down. And they, they told my mom and Ann they brought the roaches and planted them in there. They transported roaches from some other place? Yeah, and put them in the rice. That's okay. ridiculous. That's completely ridiculous. I found a button in my food before, and they they basically said, oh, it's probably the chef's coat that fell. Sometimes that can happen. Yeah. I, I don't think anyone was trying to murder Jen. No, and I'm sure that's part of the machinery, something that probably chops up the lettuce, and it came out. In yeah, it. the chef was probably just banging one of the waitresses in the walk-in cooler. His button popped off. <laughs> I mean, that's probably where it goes. You know how many people get it on in the cooler? Oh, I used to work in the kitchen. I know how, exactly how it goes. Danny, you're turning it on. <laughs> There's a lot of hooking up in kitchens, by the way. When you're eating dinner, think about that. I didn't know we're going to get sex talk with Danny. <laughs> Is that how Jen got pregnant? Yeah. Oh, oh, the gift of gab. <laughs> that ain't the only screw. Yeah, oh. I, Here's an example. Donna said, yeah, we found a cigarette butt at the bottom of my salad, and the manager insinuated that we planted it there, and none of us smoked. That's what they yeah. do. That's what they're going to – they they get because defensive. people do that. People are shady now and do that. So even if you're being honest, you won't be believed. I tell you what, if I find a cigarette butt in the bottom of anything of my food – we're we're we're, talk, we're, we're, we're doxing we make them. a video and you eat it. I, I'm not a big believer of doxing, but I we dox them and then I do I eat the cigarette. At the end, yeah. M Night Shyamalan. We're <laughs> complaining about it, but then he, he eats it on purpose. Do Do you think that is the right to dox? If you do find a screw or a cigarette yeah. butt, mm -hmm. does that restaurant deserve to be doxed? In your opinion, if they don't handle it the right way, I, yes. I don't have a problem with it. And people are doing that a lot on social media. You'll see that on Nextdoor, Facebook. People will post up, and other people then jump in on it and that's why these restaurants have you know got to watch and it is i could see where it would be a slippery slope because you totally. probably do have people trying to scam you all the time being a cheapskate yeah watch this let me see if i can get a, a free salad drop a screw but, Bam. But I remember back in the day, the whole, oh, uh, this meal is on the house for the mistake. I feel like that does not happen anymore. That used to be an old time kind of thing. People were more honest back yeah, then. Yeah, people, now there's so much. I, I, had, I was talking to a buddy of mine, and he was telling me a story of this Hooters waitress. And these guys would come in, a bunch of them, and they'd order 50 wings. And so the first time they come in, they eat all 50 wings, and then they say, there were only 48. We want our money back. And so they get their money back. So they come in again, they order 50 wings, and they give them an extra 10 wings. And they say this time they only get 46 wings. And so they give them the everything free and whatever that we shortchange you and whatnot. I'm like, why don't you just make up the wings? But the third time they came in and did the whole thing, the waitress, she brought out 100 wings. And she said, you know what? I bought these out of my own pocket so that you guys would not feel shortchanged on your wings. And apparently they were so impressed that they paid for the whole thing and gave her a monstrous tip. But what are you doing? I'm like, I don't like that the restaurant kept bending to these guys that were clearly trying to take advantage of the restaurant. So I could see it from both sides. I'm a pacifist, but I'd like those guys to get their ass kicked.
Right. <laughs> yeah, so that's, awful. that's what awful. restaurants deal with. So I think that's where you say, how do you handle these kind of things when people say, I got a screw on my salad? 